We're here in front of the James Beard House, and today we're talking to Chef Victor Albisu of DC's Del Campo. We're discussing his restaurants, South American cuisine, and who inspires. You have two restaurants that are very different. Tell me a little bit about them. Well, Del Campo in Washington, D.C. is a South American grill. Uh, we focus very much on the art of the asado, um, but everything gets kind of grilled or smoked. But you also do tacos. Mm -hmm. We do. We just opened a, uh, uh, a taqueria in Virginia mm -hmm. called Taco Bamba, mm -hmm. um, and we do this really kind of great take on street food and also these modern kind of more chef-driven tacos. How did you get inspired to cook, and where did you begin sort of thinking you wanted to be a chef? Well, early on, I was inspired by people around me, like my grandfather and my mother. They were both excellent cooks. Um, what type of food did they cook? My grandfather was Cuban, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he cooked Cuban food. Um, but he, he had a great natural palate, and I learned so much about flavor uh, with him. And, um, and my mother as well, she has a very, very natural palate. And she's Peruvian. I so I got, I got Cuban this, and Peruvian is like a very good combination. Yeah, it, it really, it's like a different part. It's, it's very different, actually. Mm -hmm. But they, they combine. Um, I think they come by pretty well. Yeah. And so then what made you want to go to France? Why not say I want to you know, be in South America, I want to focus on that South American cuisine from the beginning? Well, uh, you know, I'm saying I, I grew up in a butcher shop. So I grew up around butchers, Argentinians, Uruguayan butchers. Yeah. Uh, so I have all these mix from Peruvian to Cuban to, um, to South American. Right. And we, uh, we basically cook all the time. Um, so, you know, it was just part of my life. It wasn't part of a career path or right. anything like that. Um, it's later on I decided to, to attend the Cordon Bleu in Paris and, um, and kind of change the trajectory of my career. When you say South American, it's funny because a lot of people would say, well, South American can mean so many different things, but you have all of that South American background and then you have the French background. How do you think that comes together to really make Del Campo a unique restaurant? Well, there's an inherent refinement, I think, to South American food. Foods of Peru, foods of, of Argentina and Chile. I think there's a very inherent kind of refinement to it, and uh, I think for the most part, people haven't really seen that side. At Del Campo, we try to focus on South America, and at Taco Bamba, we focus on you know, Mexican street food. And it, it's more about focusing and then using that kind of classical training to elevate the food. And for you, having these two restaurants that are so different, does that allow you separate outlets? Do you see yourself having a third restaurant in a totally different genre? Or do you see expanding on the concepts you've already created? Well, you know, I guess every chef wants to have more and more, right? But right. I, I'm really focused on Del Campo right now and, and, and Taco Bamba very, very much. I mean, those are two things that are that are just getting open and just getting started and, and we're really... They're really, not ready for anything really else. We're really excited about it, right? right? And especially fitting into the DC food scene, I mean, you're very active also in the DC community, but what do you think is different about the DC food scene that perhaps outsiders don't know? Because it's a bustling scene, but it's not necessarily what people think of when they think like great food city of DC. And well, I, you know, I, I really think that, that needs to change. The food in general uh, is, is a coming together of a lot of different cultures. You see, um, sees a lot of vis visitors from around the world. Right. So, so uh, we, you know, we, I think the chefs there have really elevated the level. And I think people are now looking for that more authentic touch, right. um, you know, and uh, more and more you see more kind of, you know, kind of these elevated ethnic restaurants that, that are right. doing so much better uh, and, uh, than, than others because they have authentic flavors that people now are educated enough to, to really seek out. Wonderful. Well, we'll let you get back to it. Thank okay. you so much for the Thank time. You. I really Thank appreciate you it. Much. Thanks so much for watching and for more, go to potluckvideo.com.